Hi, I'm Mindy and this is a walkthrough of my Project 1 for the CS50 web course, which is CS50W. So we built a book searching, book reviewing database and uh, there's a user login page and there is a search page that won't do anything when you're not logged in. So I will first log in. On the search page, you can search by title, by author, by year, or by ISBN. Uh, so we'll start with title, and let's say I look for bluest, and I will only get one book. Let's search for something. So let's search for something with more results, and if you want to open something up, uh, you will get the title, the author, the ISBN, and you will also get these ratings that are pulled in live from Goodreads. So if they changed tomorrow or in an hour, uh, these two numbers would be different. So they're pulled in through an API. This book has no reviews yet, so let's search for one that does have some reviews. All right, this one has some reviews in it. And so when you've got a review, you've got the user's first and last name, you've got the rating that the user gave it, and whatever text they wrote. If I want to submit, now notice I have already actually reviewed this book, but uh, I'm going to try to review it again. And I submit. And it tells me I've already submitted a review and it allows me to go back to the same book page and say, oh yeah, I did, I submitted a review. Um, so what if I want to review a different book? Okay, so let's find a book by this author that I haven't reviewed. No reviews. Okay, so I'll say, um, and I submit. And it tells me that I was successful and I can go back to the page and I can see that my review actually was submitted. Um, if I log out, I can then log in as somebody else. So I have a user named Harry Potter. And now I can log in as Harry. And I didn't show you I can search for ISBN or more. There we go. Um, years. So we can do 1970, all right? And when you search by years, the books are in or alphabetical order by title, but when you search by anything else, the results will be in order by year. So the oldest will be at the top and the newest will be at the bottom. Also, it's case insensitive. So if I search for King as the author, I will get somebody with the first name Kingsley, the last name King, and also the last name King Solver. So uh, it's searching for any part of that word and it's not case sensitive. What if I am logged out and I log in with the wrong user, uh, wrong password. Okay, so um, login username or password was not correct. Um, what if I try to register as uh, with a username that is already registered? Um, so I'll do some password here. And it says, sorry, that username is taken. So I can register as a new user and I'll type a password and you don't have to give a username, a first name and last name, it's optional. Uh, now it tells me my username, my first name, my last name, and now I can go log in as Hills and give my password and I will go directly to the search page. I can also use an API call to get JSON data for any book using its uh, ISBN number, right? So if I'm on my search page or search results page, I can click 
um, any ISBN and it'll send that call. Or if there was some book that I knew the ISBN of, and I just wanted to type in API slash and that, uh, that, that ISBN, it'll go there directly. Um, the same is true for a book detail. If I go, if I just type one in, that will also work. Uh, if I if I if I use a, a book ID that doesn't exist, it'll say there's no book that matches that ID. But if there is one that does exist, it will come back with that. And I know I've also got um, I've got one book detail page. There we go. That has reviews where the user did not submit. A last name in this case this user Yoda only has a first name uh, and this user didn't give any first or last name um, so only their username is used and I handled that in the template book detail all right so I use the Jinja templating language to use an if so if the user does have a first name and last name we'll use them if they only have a first name we'll use that and otherwise we will use their uh, username. So my templates are here. So my README goes through um, my templates and my routes. And so I've got the logout, I've got the import, login, search, book detail page, reviews. Oh, and the error page. You haven't seen that. What if I'm logged out? Okay, uh, let's say book detail. Here we go. All right, unavailable. You need to log in. Uh, similarly, if I try to search without being logged in, it's going to tell me I have to be logged in. But if I want to access um, the API, I can access the API without being logged in. So that's the only thing. Um, so everything else other than uh, the index page and registering, you have to be logged in to use everything else except the API. And whether you're logged in or not, if you went to a page that you're not permitted to see, like I'm gonna try to go to search results, which is a real page, but I'm, I haven't searched, right? That's when you'll see my error page. So it will come up as a 404, uh, but the URL, the route will stay the same as whatever you put in there. So that's the tour of my app for Project 1 in CS50W.